you want to render your scene using the end display, here is the proper way how to do it. First, you need to create your sequencer and be sure that you drag and drop your end display here and also you can you have to add it to camera cut track. Click plus here and add the end display over there. Yeah, then click on the movie render queue and in the movie render queue here are a few steps you should do. We will render it in AXR. Just uncheck this multi-layer. Then we should delete this different rendering and replace it with the end display rendering. Here just uh, let it be as it is. Then plus again and here we should add end display. In here choose your end display config and let's uh, check this render all viewports and use the viewport resolution. This is basically rendering the exact resolution for our LED wall and this is rendering all the nodes if you, your end display is made from several different parts. Then uh, you should check the camera here and render all cameras. Then I would add anti-aliasing and I would also add the game overrides. In output I would recommend you to find the directory you want to render and then use the semicolons camera underscore name and semicolons. This is basically automatically create the uh, folder with the name of the node you render. So when you hit accept and you render it. So the render is done and once you click here it will open the directory and you see we have all the nodes with the separate renders and when I open it it's a one part of my end display configuration. So then you have to stitch it together, but it works the proper way.